I'm Lauren and welcome to this week's Movie Break Review. This week we are taking a look at Lars von Trier's Nymphomaniac Volume 1. He's directed such films as Dancer in the Dark and Melancholia, which I haven't seen either. So I really didn't know what to expect when I went to see Nymphomaniac. Well, that's a lie. I knew there would be a lot of sex. Like, a lot of sex. <laughs> No, seriously, like, a lot of sex. The movie starts off when Seligman, played by Stellan Skarsgård? Stellan Skarsgård? Stellan Skarsgård? You might remember him from Thor, where he played Dr. Eric Selvig. He stumbles upon Joe, played by Charlotte Gainsbourg. She was also in Von Trier's 2009 Antichrist, which I have not seen either. The two main characters form a bond, dare I say, relationship over Joe's sex stories. Now, if you were looking for hot basic instinct, throw yourself at the wall erotica sex, you're going to be disappointed. The majority of the sex in this film is kind of sad. Joe doesn't get any pleasure out of it. Poor Joe. There are definitely some standout performances. Uma Thurman, who plays a bit part, as well as Shia LaBeouf. The actor, non-actor, performance artist. He plays Joe's first love, Jerome. I thought his mere presence was really gonna take me out of the film, but contrary to my own belief, he did pretty good. Despite my lack of film culture and failing out of Film 101 in college, sorry mom, I have to admit, I like Nymphomaniac. More than watching a movie about a woman's, oh, shall we say, uncontrollable libido, this movie was really about swimming upstream Embracing who you are, not apologizing for it, and sticking it to the man. That's what she said. Get it? It's a joke about sex. That being said, on a scale of 1 to 10, I think I'd give this movie a solid 7.5. So people, if you saw the movie, tell me what you think. Leave your comments below. And also, please don't forget to subscribe and also like below. You know how it goes. I'm Lauren. Thanks for watching and thanks for joining me on Movie Break.